Hello, this is Andrew Reby with Planet Solutions. I would like to welcome you to the first episode in a series of videos that explain the new features available to you in Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1. In this episode, we will be talking about an exciting new feature that will allow you to easily add new operations to your parts. To start off, I have already gone to the assembly view and selected a part, the finished left end, to edit. This all looks pretty standard, but one thing you should notice is the new cam tab. This is where we get to see the new feature, so let's click on it and check it out. Okay, so now that we are in the cam view, we can see a few new things. Over here on the left, we can see the different work planes available. Selecting one of the items will change the view so that you can place operations on it. Let's go ahead and try that out. As you can see, we're now viewing the left edge of the part. In this window here, you can see the red outline of the work plane we are using relative to the front of the assembly. In the main view window here, you can see that the view has changed so that the left edge of the part is now facing us. Any operations that we decide to place now will be created on this edge. Let's go ahead and go back to the front view to finish out this video. Now, let me start talking about the new groups in the ribbon bar. Here we find the layers group. This group contains the layer schedules combo box and the layers combo box. Since the layer schedule isn't anything new, I won't really get into it. The layers, while not new, work a little differently than in the rest of cabinet vision. Firstly, it starts off with two layers already created, cam and construction. If you've been using the shape editor, you have a basic idea of what these are for, but in case you haven't, here's how it works. Any elements that you draw on the cam layer will be converted to cam operations. Any elements that you draw on the construction layer will only be used as a type of guide for you and will not affect the creation of cam operations. Now that I've explained that, you should also notice that, unlike in the CAD section of Cabinet Vision, you can't edit, add, or delete any layers. So yeah, you get those two. Next on the list is the Inquiry group. The tools we have here allow us to select an element, select all the elements, or measure the distances between elements. And here we have the Modify group. This group has the same tools that you can find in the CAD sections of Cabinet Vision as well as the Shape Editor, so I'm going to just slide over this one. Just a side note though, only the Offset tool is available when you are on the Cam layer. They are all available when you're on the Construction layer though. Now we get to the fun part, the Drawing group. Now to fit in for this demonstration, the groups have collapsed a bit, so let me go ahead and expand this one out real quick so that you can see it better. Okay, now that that's done, you can see the labels that we have on them. This tool is the line bore tool. This allows you to create a line bore by simply drawing a line. The next tool we have is the hole tool. It does what it says, allowing you to place a single hole somewhere on your part. Here we can see the dado tool. By drawing a line with this tool, we get a dado. The IntelliJoint tool here allows us to place IntelliJoints on our part. And finally, we get to our route tools. While we're on the cam layer, any elements we draw with these tools will be automatically converted into routes. Now we get to the insert group. With the tool here, we can add drawings made in alpha cam onto our parts. Earlier, you heard me say that you can create line boring operations by just drawing a line with the line bore tool. I want to take a minute to go ahead and show you that. I'm going to start by selecting the line bore tool, then click on my part. As you can see, once I place the starting point for my line bore operation, a live preview of the holes that will be generated are shown to you as I drag around the endpoint. I've gone ahead and deleted that line bore because now I would like to show you the route tools. I'm going to go ahead and start by adding a circle to the part, and now we're going to add a little arc. I think you may be seeing where I'm going with this. Now we're going to add some lines here. and here. And now you can see how I've pretty easily created a smiley face with the route tools. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We at Planet hope that you are as excited about this new functionality as we are. If you want to learn more about Cabinet Vision, please visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com.